general board. We accepted it at the okay. general board. It's approved. Okay. It's done. No, it's I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that part of our minutes? Oh, no, minute. because the minutes came out earlier. You know, I couldn't change it until we did the motion. So the motion was done. No, no, but it was part of our discussion. And our but I couldn't change it because when I put the minutes, I didn't change it. Sorry. Are you from um, the uh, NYP geriatric? Um, I'm with the Columbia Spectator. Um, you're with Mr. Best, uh, um, Batista? Um, no, I'm just joining um, to kind of like hear about like community um, things that like will come up in the meeting. Um, it's like the school newspaper. Okay, so you're just attending. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Sorry I couldn't be there in person. <laughs> Miss um, Hardy, I do you. I, I need your I need address. Could you put your address or an email in the in the minutes? Yeah, uh, like in the chat. In the, in the um, not the minutes. In the chat. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. It seems like neither of our our uh, presenters are here yet. Um, can we go directly to this some um, budget stuff? This budget stuff is, is really. It's I understand this. Many. Well, how much well, money did you get last time? Last year, pesos. Thank you. Yes, yes. I have this. That's it. That's it. There's money in there. And That's what be. was. A, that was what. That you know, all the groups, all the committees submit uh, either um, expenses or operational requests. So you been, right? You've been there. You mean to the library or? No, no, for, for the yeah. board. I, I don't remember sitting in on a meeting about the budget. Oh, okay. But, um, I know that was not the case. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if there's something in operation now that maybe like there's are problems with uh, the boiler, stuff like that. So that would be yeah, right. That would be expensive. Building concerns. Well, not necessarily the building. Um, what do you think the seniors would like to talk about? What they would like to, I mean, um, they would like those potholes to definitely be fixed on one of the street. Um, the sidewalk. Oh, Already going too fast. <laughs> okay, and what street? One thirty seventh Broadway. Uptown, downtown. It's um, downtown side. Is that on the slope? No, before you get to the slope, mm -hmm. there's a where the, where the bus stop is. No, no. there's a pothole right directly in front of 3333 that makes the sidewalk very uneven. Now you're talking about going into the. To... No, 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 that's not out the property. I already got uh -huh. that. They told me it was a city's problem. Okay. So <laughs> okay. I've already been there because what happens is when they come out of the street and start to move on the sidewalk. They can, the car can stumble, their foot can gash because it's uneven and it's right adjacent to that pothole. So we're talking, you're talking coming, about the sidewalk, yeah. on the sidewalk, right. where the, uh, from, the diner is, on the okay. same side? Coming across from bus down, the, set, the diner. Okay. You then approach the sidewalk. Okay. So it's as a tree. You at, no, as you get on the sidewalk and walk on the Good sidewalk. Morning. And walk on the sidewalk. Three feet. Three feet. Okay. And it looks, it looks like in, in the street. You're coming onto the street. Right here, as you get here, is a pothole, and here is the indentation. And that's where the cart and the senior's feet and anybody else to okay. get. Stuck because yeah. it was at night, and you know, it's not so pronounced that you can say step up, okay. it's a sneaky little it, right. and yeah. you can, on your head. and you can really yeah. injure yourself. It reminds me of the Riverside Park things, I mean, so much crevasses all over the walkway, right here, close the one that the side of the park, right? All of it because I see people with crutches and pains, and they're on stuck. what streets again? It's all the way from, from 100 and 15 to down 104. Or down. Yeah, but they're all the see the whole thing there needs to I'll, I'll put that down. Yeah, because okay. all of the pavement is cracked. There's okay. an issue like this. They don't repair these streets. But normally we always ask for housing. There's a need for senior housing, which there is. Noise pavement. That's the main issue for me. The increase, increase um, uh, I guess, the development to senior centers, because the younger seniors are not going to senior centers. Mm -hmm. Older seniors are not going to senior centers because they can't get out. Because they can't get out. If there's someone who has maintained gradually through the years, they're there because it's part of their existence. You know what I'm saying? So, how do I word this? Um, <laughs> We need to look at um, how we um, be inclusive of the aging and of our seniors. Okay, and now I that would it. that would be funding for this or opera because this is more like this is a project. It is a project. <laughs> it is a project. It is a project. So you're saying um, I guess programs that would appease uh, at all of that and accessibility. <laughs> Maybe there's not a promotion. I think for sure for what if we had the program in place, but we don't even have a home where they like two more. Oh, and you have anything there? I know uh, our streets are becoming more filthy. Oh, yeah. Before and during. So we are asking for money to, because I mean, I, I I'm did coming did. here today on, on my block. Three poops right in the street. Oh, right. I, I mean, it's like they're not cleaning. They're human not doing, dogs? human. I mean, people, dogs, dogs. People, they stop. You know, they stop. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's sanitation. sanitation. Oh, it's, no, but I'm that's all in civic. Yeah, it certainly is civic because it's not the individuals with the dogs that are even thinking about those who 
exist That's right. prior to doing yeah, being a priority? As, as a poop over there in the red houses, the problem we have is that people from co-ops who consider themselves private say that they could come over into grab houses on the side of the poop because it's public. And, and they'll clean it up because no, they don't clean it up. I mean, they just be in their mind, they don't have to. Okay, right. I'm a citizen's arrest. Really, yes. real, real, real suggestion. Yeah. 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 Can you think of anything that, that the city should be funding, or if there's something in existence, it should we can do uh, money for correction or uh, improvements? Lights, I think definitely. We need more lighting. Street light, yes, yeah. more lighting. More lighting. Mr. Hayes, do you have anything that you could think of? Um, I think anything with seniors. I think seniors need a lot more support. I mean, well, I need, it has to be like a you. proposal, so I need to put it I in words. Yeah. Think about it. Um, Ms. Caldwell, Ms. Uh, Baxter, she's busy. Okay. Ms. Hardy, also, if you have to think about anything that you would like to get funded or if anything is in existence, um, Need needs like repairs or uh, maintenance, something like that. If you can think about it, and um, no repairs come to mind right now. <laughs> All right, okay. What she said. I think she said she can't think of anything. Um, well, yes. I know the streets need to be clean from Broadway to Amsterdam on in Old Broadway. It's it's a it's a horror house. So I mean, so you mean just normal street cleaning, normal street cleaning, washing? They need to shower it down. You you can smell the urine. <laughs> so you can have it, set around. Is it is it uh, is it homeless folks over there? Oh, they squat. Oh, we have they squat and move beds if you want to uh, use that. Under these overhangs too. I mean, yeah. we have bedding. Um, they do everything. Yeah, the this is a, a huge. As social. this is the whole. This is the whole. The whole, the whole district is like. Complaining about the same thing. Nine and ten, even on the east side, they this have uh, scout planes. Did you say which street in particular? One twenty fifth, on Broadway to Amsterdam, the whole stretch. Um, um, Nature does some out outsourcing to the sidewalks, but it's not where it's showered down. We need, we need like you tell your 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 child after you play football, you need a shower. That's all. It shouldn't cost much, but the effects of it to see people out there actually get that done is priceless because that one time they do that, they send a streak and people don't tamper with throwing garbage on floors and you know, sitting, you know, swatting and everything, you know, the place to be clean for once totally the whole entire stretch. Okay. You know, it's a morale thing for people when you see people behaving. But this kind of thing with dogs, um, that people feel that they have the right. Mm -hmm. It was happening in my neighborhood too. It didn't happen years ago, quite frankly, because it's more people here. And it was I was crying on the I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. No, there's more. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's more dogs. And he, like you were saying, you could do a citizen's arrest. Mm -hmm. But who's going to do that? You know. Actually, I had one woman come to my building, bring up her baby. Was an infant and had the baby drop his pants and defecate against our building. Just you know, just and we asked for the um, empty bus to consider the metro cars because we don't have, except for at one place when the escalators are working, mm -hmm. a place for us to go and we need to go on the bus. They used to come out on the van. <laughs> I want the, we, have, have one we have um that comes to the general board, we have a liaison with MTA. I want him to come and speak at one of our meetings also because I have a pet peeve about this um tap tap thing yeah, and they're yeah. getting rid of, of the monthly um pass. Yeah. It's like I you, you brought this in you brought this in to to you know because other cities have it. Yeah. Most well, most cities who have transportation. Now now you want me to pay 12 times. Before I can use it, and I have to start on Sunday, and I like to go from bus to train to bus, or train to bus, bus. You know, it's like that's why you I buy monthly, so I like to bring them in. But that's not part of like budget thing. That's that's going to be a separate issue. But I would like to bring them in as, as speaker on our meetings. Right. Well, they I came before. They came before. Huh? 
No, that's the MTA. 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 He, he came to the yeah. um, to the senior yeah, yeah. resource. Yeah. Senior. Yeah. I would like to challenge him. I got some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As well as the precinct, 30th and 20, uh, 20, uh, 26. Because they have a liaison with us too. So, it's, it's like seniors are also issues, like right, with um, I guess you call it the you know, do late night yeah. Yeah. surveillance for seniors coming in. A lot of seniors are nervous about coming out at night. Okay. Um, Ms. Gale, do you have anything to add? Are you speaking to me? Yes. Um, not really, but so you know, um, I see you have less participants today. The letter you sent, that email does not work for the Zoom. The email that was emailed to me is the one that works. Oh. So the letter that was sent out, that Zoom meeting does not work. The general one that, that, that went out or the one you just, we just sent? The general one, the one, the one that went out. I'm looking at it. The numbers are totally different. On the on the um on the letter. Madison, do they change? Does the the, the um, Zoom address change for every meeting? So I couldn't get the agenda out with the proper information. If I thought that it was like the same one for every one, so I'm, that's my fault. I, I accept that one, but I want I mean, the minutes. I mean, the agenda has to go out in you know timely fashion. But if I don't have the Zoom address, the one from the last one, and that's not that's not good, right? What about the phone numbers? The phone numbers change too. So basically, okay, hold on a second. Huh? Oh, sorry. At the beginning of every month, or basically like the week before, when you give me your agenda, just tell me like, oh, send me the Zoom link so I can put it on the agenda. Okay, so I can send you the agenda out without the Zoom information on it. You mean you'll add it? Got it. I'm sorry, Gail. We are working at it. I thought it was, you know, usually a lot of them have the same same Zoom address every every month. You know. Should, should the, the the link be sent out to those two people who are supposed to present? Because maybe are they running for that? Yeah, how about that? So mm -hmm. so but you're on the mailing list, so you got you no, get, um I I I don't receive it myself. Maybe my manager does. Oh yeah, no, no, we need to correct that. Well, no, no, I mean, no, 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 we were right there. Um, would you prefer it at the, the library or would you prefer yeah. it at home? Because you, you no, live in the neighborhood. Yeah, at the library is fine, but but honestly, I mean, I, we don't have trouble. Like I come in person, so I don't need. All right. Um, okay. But but that's that's kind of. That's on record. You should put it there. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Email, send it email. Okay. Okay. But we have the email, right? Um. Yeah. I don't really get to do that. But again, I think we're pretty good about putting it on the calendar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. So one thing, I, I, I don't, I don't think there's, it's not enough. They're not building any housing. The, the mayor, I mean, former president Levine, is um, doing. I, I think they have like a survey thing. I'm sorry, I cut you off on um, calls. And you, you want to, you, you move something you know, about I was wondering about the people who we should have to speak. Or yeah. they have the proper Zoom. Well, they were contact. They got, they got an email addresses. So they, if they got the wrong address, they could. We can always invite them back. I think I have somebody from one person so far, but remember. Um, but we can always invite them back. And, and this budget thing is going to take up this. Uh, it's complicated. Um, but with, as far as needs, community needs, the borough president wants to do a survey of like, like a lot of buildings in Manhattan, like store, just a storefront, and there's space on top of them. He would like to, yes, that's part of it too. He would like to think about like, like empty lots and uh, buildings that just have like a store there. They would like to put, you know, um, housing on top of the store, and which means maybe the store would have to go for a while until they do the construction and then bring them back. But at, at least that's an option, an option because you know they get what they need more housing in, in the area. And I have uh, a few uh, seniors in the area that years ago, if they had walk-ups, 
it was easy for them to navigate stairs. Right. But now it's not. I mean, if you're dealing with laundry and, and packages and stuff, and you're dealing with yourself climbing up stairs, and then, you know, sometimes the stairs are wet, and, you know. So, I mean, really. Yeah. We got that at the general board, right? Because I put it up in my building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we could be established. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I agree with you. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, nobody else can think of anything that would like, in, in particular for seniors, any, uh, what about like health, health um, centers? Well, they have, well, you have only that many one that's down in Columbia. Uh, but you have Ryan. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, maybe uh, a monthly rotating um, senior uh, health thing, a various thing. I mean, they're okay, all of funding for. Or you would you like to like add like funding for that? Yeah, or get it for free. There they are. No, they're out there. You just have to get it to to visit. I know uh, seniors around the, around the nearby area, 126, within the uh, parameters that I'm actually familiar. A lot of seniors are looking you know, forward to hoping to have uh, their BP um, Bean used to have the shop and groceries where you have fruits and the vegetables, which I think most seniors are not able to access due to the financial shortcomings um, when they check. On so the you mean like, like uh, um, food, um, the yeah, market? Yeah, market. Because we, I used to do that when, uh, when Mark Levine was a uh, city councilman. We used to take the seniors down to the farmer market. Mm -hmm. We had vouchers. How did you get bus trips? How did bus trips? Took the bus. <laughs> we go down about 10, 15, sometimes 20 of us. We I take them down. Well, this is as a TA, that's why experience comes in for me, where I can uh, adapt to what's going on in the district. Why we just take buses down to um to the uh, farmers market right there in the Columbia University area, oh. and they have fifteen dollars vouchers. Sometimes they have fifteen dollars vouchers. vouchers. Yes. With, they came um, out. They came out of. Well, he was city council then, so they came out of the city council. Bus. So, like, your city council uh, make some yeah, well, yeah. I I had had to do a large scale. We get the Matt Burrow president because I did it with him before uh, the director, you know, Moore went to uh, MCU to become vice president. Mm -hmm. So, and we we was out there and we supported, and we also did so much that key food. That's right on the uh, You're next to it now. Right on one two five. They did. We started having uh festivals where you come out and the music plays and you had uh access to examples mm -hmm. and to pick up uh groceries or fruits and vegetables half price. Oh, that's nice. Um because you know we have the new uh craze going on with uh trash food. Come folks. Okay. Come folks. Uh, well, I'm not saying I'm just saying that's what that's what is coming up. Where food is is close to being um how you say ex an expiration according to food sales oh. and people are picking up their food before it expires um and, and those there are you know you can give it to the seniors you know who are going to cook on that day or, or eat on that day okay instead of having people uh surfing and I do literally mean surfing through trash okay. dumpster diving and all that. All that has got to stop, especially with the dumpsters coming out. Even though they're locked, uh, I believe we 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 just just the, the appearance of having that and people having that kind of mentality to try to find food and compost. I think we can we can neglect that, neglect them from doing that by having food and, and um, services. Because I'm sorry to say, I'm going to keep saying, as a 78 president, grand partner. Nobody went home. We did door to door service every three months for seven years, four quarters. We would do a wellness check with our seniors. And it didn't trickle down, it flooded down to the, to the uh, parents, and it also supported the kids. And we also had repairs and everything done, all wrapped up in that one shot. And we had uh, the uh, elections and all that. 
signing, you know, petitioning, all that was done, all of that. Okay. So it can work because we have 1,940 apartments. We're talking about uh, almost 4,400 to 5,000 people that we service on a regular basis every day. My office is open seven days a week, 24 hours. And people, people knock on my door, man, I'm hungry. And, and my wife will cook, Aww. and I will cook uh, steak sandwiches and all that stuff. You know, I, I know it. it's like you walk, yo, man, I was in the area, man, you know, yo, you know, you want them steak sandwiches, you know, and we're chatting and stuff like that. We oh, have that like capacity right there. Okay. There's one complex in there. We got 1,100 apartments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to also add, I'm going to add better um, technological, I mean, because we're still not wired for um, Wi-Fi. I mean, there's a program to get, you know, to get, but right. it's not. Housing habits, we don't have it. It should be open to all food. And if you don't live in high housing, you know, they've been telling me, they build is cut down almost half. Cable is cut down almost half, but it's only for housing. It's yeah. not for seniors across oh, the board. Francine, where I'm Carlton. Um, I have a little uh, insight with Verizon, and um, I know I know the person. Spe Spectrum does it too, but it's only for yeah, and for in a housing project. Right. They, need to do it for the they, they don't have yeah. free. They have it. Do three you all have a private? Um, one of my friends, he has he has a private. Um, um, Why don't services. I get a volume? Oh, good. Uh, uh, Someone said something? Yes, he's green. Did you say something, Mr. Hello, Mr. Green. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So sorry. Are you saying something? I'm muted. Yeah, she's muted. You're I muted. Yeah, she's muted. She said she was sorry. Oh. So I think she meant it to me. <laughs> No, I wanted to unmute she's um she has she has um the senior center in, in Grant Rights. But they're at Deputy Austin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to hear more from them. Maybe we'll over it. I just said that maybe everybody already knows this, but I, I think because we're talking really about farmers markets. Um yeah. something I didn't realize until a few months back when one of my coworkers was doing a, a a project with um some sort of like gardening program, but but uh seniors we who use uh, or who receive staff or DC, they can get like dollar for dollar. Um, yeah, yeah. So like it's, it's from from the any any of the I think farmers markets in the city. So like ten dollars, I think up to ten dollars mm -hmm. it's double. So like ten dollars becomes twenty dollars. Yeah. So their money goes for because I think people think sometimes that that produce is expensive, which it, it is. But you know if you're getting it effectively for half price. But it's the people that don't get it. That's the difference. Okay. The seniors that don't get it. Mm -hmm. okay. But I know mm -hmm. all, all markets had it where they have a little booth and you can bring in your um map or whatever else you get, booth there, and they will change it in so that you can spend those dollars at the farmer's market. So you can get fresh produce mm -hmm. by just swapping it out. So we need a need for those that don't meet that threshold, don't meet that eligibility so they're a penny over. Um, that has the same, you know, needs. Wow, sorry. Um, uh, anybody should ask questions? Yes. So, this is a community board meeting. Yeah. Yes. Is it a hand? Gail, you want to say something? Um, good, good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Um, I had a, a, a different um, ID to get in, so my apologies for my tardiness. Uh, that's that's our problem. I, I I was under the impression that this was use the same Zoom address for every meeting. I oh. just found out that there's a new Zoom address for every meeting. So absolutely, we, so the agenda will go out, but I'll leave the Zoom information out of it until they, uh, Madison or Hill puts it in. So please forgive me. But you always okay. have an email, so you can always either or you can also call me. So yes, thank you. While I had Gail, you had a question? Don't go, Miss Green. I'm talking to you in a minute. I had two 
questions. One was about the um, the vouchers for the food, which where do we get those vouchers from? And the second one is we were told that we will be getting new Omni cards towards the end of the year. And at this point, I have not received anything. Okay. That's the yeah, yeah, that's the that's the MTA initiative. So we have I'm I, I'm seeing as well, and I haven't gotten mine either. And I'm gonna hold on to my winter card anyway. Mm -hmm. No, they said that once you have one that was geared to to Florida, Florida, yeah. our so just change over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're we're gonna invite we had MTA here at the senior resource. But we're going to invite them back because uh, I would like to get some some additional information on how that's going to be rolled out and when it's going to go. When will metro cards no longer be good? So that's another. Now, as far as the um, the uh, food vouchers, I saw so Gail Brewer sends out an email every week, and she would. There's a thing where you pay ten dollars or something, and you could get a whole bunch of food. That's shit. That's a share program. Okay, that's what that is. So that's not a voucher thing. That's something totally that's different. So, so okay. That they actually um, are, are affiliated with the upstate farm. Oh, okay. But that's not that's not only for our area. That's citywide, right? Like okay. Any so I'm not familiar with that. I can check into it if you'd like. I'm just searching. I, I think if you Google health bucks. Health what? Bucks. Like uh, like for you know, BUC is one word or two. You two, two words. words. Um, there's a page on NYC.gov that talks about the program, and it sounds like there are 130 farmers markets across the five boroughs um, that accepts uh, SNAP on an EBT card, and for every two dollars spent at farmers markets using SNAP. On an EBT card, you can get two dollars in health bucks up to ten dollars per day. But you can only you have to have this. Um, yeah. You have yeah. to be on yeah, yeah. snap card. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I thought that's what Gail was asking about. Is that not? And and. Yeah. Um, I would just like to say something about that because I know my center, we receive those uh, those farmers markets. So I know a lot of the centers are receiving them. Um, and what we don't use, I, I just sent back a batch that I didn't use back to um, DIFTA so that they can distribute it to other senior centers so that you know the seniors can go to the centers and pick them up. And this program is all the way until November. It ends in November where you can use these coupons. So is there any way that other concerns that are not a DIFTA-based um, program can, can access? You know, because you can let any senior you can walk into your sector and they're eligible to get that. But if we don't know and not communicate that you have availability for something that's standing alone and not affiliated, you know, directly with DIFTA, we can send seniors to your center so that they can get those coupons and you don't have to return them. Is that possible? That and, and that is possible. This is my first time. Um, I'm new to the position since December. Will it be December? It'll be a year. However, um, so this was my first go around. And yes, I, you know, we can um, entertain what you just said for next year because I, I had no idea about how the rollout process was and, you know, getting it back and exactly who can get it. I knew my members can get it and everybody in this um, in this community, if they are seniors, they could just walk in, sign up and get the coupons. So a lot of it was word of mouth as well. Okay. Well, thank you. Now I know I'll get your information because yes. my complex don't get it because we're not a senior center and we were blessed for a couple of years to actually have someone come and give us that orientation. And everybody this year was going crazy. This summer said, Ms. Red Team, what happened to the coupon? Ms. Red Team, what happened to the coupon? We didn't get it this year. So, Carlton Davis, how you doing? Um, you have your district leaders that they actually will be your, your foundation because you have Atlanta. You know, Corey Ortega, and you have Nina Kampusana. That's your female district leader. You go to these district leaders, 
and you make a pledge and let them know that you was already at the community board. So the board backs you. They got to do is make a trip to them and send it right up. I'm quite sure the city council and the Hadbro president, they all will get a whiff of that. That um, you got some good energy going out of the community board nine that is concerned about seniors that's not getting access to the vouchers due to the fact that they're outside the, the entities of uh, death. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So like this is the first year. Well, now you have to first line to screen. Uh, we're doing this is the, the yearly budget dance. Right. Expense. Would you please recognize my raised hand? Oh, I did not, my dear. Please forgive. <laughs> Carry on, Miss Miss. Thank you so much. Good, good. First of all, good morning, everybody. It is my pleasure. And, and uh, to be back in, in, in uh, New York. And I am so glad to be back with the community board. Um, I, I, I want to give my uh, appreciation uh, to uh, all who, who understood my situation. I've been out of the country for two months, but uh, to all of those who recognized me and did not dismiss me as a community board nine, uh, member, I thank you. Uh, now, with all of that being said, I'd like to uh, address Ms. Green uh, with regard to the vouchers that she has available to, that would be available to all seniors, that if possible at all, that those extra vouchers could be made available to the Senior Issues Committee with a listing of people who have food disparities in, in our community, as well as um, um, being, as opposed to our council members, but to people, to, to the members of the Senior Issues Committee, uh, that possibly that each with each one of us could have a listing of seniors that would have be in very much in need and have food disparities that might also be homebound. Uh, can we can we make some arrangement with that? Um, unfortunately, uh, I returned. I mentioned it a little earlier that I returned them back, so then I don't have them anymore. I wish I, you know, I wish I would have uh, been on the call even la even for September, because then I could have, you know, um, did what you just were um, asking. However, I don't have them anymore. That's why I said next year. Man, you know, I, I, ability of approaching. So it you only get them once a year. It's not a monthly. It's not monthly. No. no. Thank you. You are. That's why we need a budget. That uh that can hopefully um you can roll out where it becomes like uh even if 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 it's in the six figure a hundred thousand you know how I many people you can feed or 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 cur curd with, with fruit vegetables celery you know making soups and because the winter's coming up eating habits has to be a little bit more better uh in the great words quote unquote from uh Mayor. Former Mayor Bloomberg, who tried to remove soda, now we know why, but this years afterwards. We need to eat healthier. You know, I'm rapping 60. I'll be, I'll be 60 in, 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 a, in, a, in a few months. Well, you're a youngster. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I play sports, so when the elders be saying they're hurting, I, I, I feel them. I know, I know about getting hit playing football and boxing. And yeah, I used to box in the amateurs and stuff. So um, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter about the age, you know. But I'm just saying, you know, we we got to eat healthier now. I, I have that on now. So I, Patricia, um, you were, you were um, asking for my last uh, meeting. We changed the name of the group from Senior Issues to Senior Action Committee, and it was unanimously approved by the general. Oh, board. good. Yes. <laughs> I thank you. Uh, for, for well, now I know your senior action. Yes. Right. So uh, can we take some action? Can we take action in, in making provisions to, to address the needs of our seniors with food disparities somehow through a discretionary funding? Yeah, I'd like to do that. But what, what we're doing now is uh, um, this budget thing, 
all of the committees in senior and in, uh, in community board nine uh, compile yeah. a list of uh, either things that are, are they're functioning now that they need help with, like for repairs or something, something, or they want requests for something new. It's called um, operational or expense. So what we're compiling now is a list of we what we think are need, what we think would benefit seniors or here henceforth. Now, um, right. mm -hmm. we get together on the 17th of October, we put our wants and desires along with uh, health, and, health and safety and the, the uh, schools and the parks, everybody puts in what they want. We compile a list of priorities and then uh, mm -hmm. it, it, we go, and all of them are addressed, every need is addressed. Some will be thrown back from the city saying, well, that's in process, so we don't have the money for that right now. And then some are approved. According to what I see here, it was only three things that are approved last year. And we also have to take into account um, upcoming now, the mayor is talking about cutting the budget 15%. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's going to be it's going to be nip and tuck here, but we're going to put down what we think we would like. And with all that being said, I'd like for Miss Green to um, Miss Green. Do you have anything that you would like to uh, submit as uh, either this is a, a budget request, uh, either for your your seniors individually or maybe for the I don't know how to deal with the with the senior centers. I think you get your funding from a different source. Am I correct? Oh. So it, it's it's kind of difficult to hear y'all because someone else's speaker is on. Okay. Anything that you could think of that, that would benefit seniors in the community? How's that? Um well, okay, can 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 I process that? Can I get back to you with that? Yes. Yes, yes you can. I think it's Johnson had a hand up. Who? Johnson. Did you? That's Chloe. That's Pat. Did you hang up? No, I don't see a hang up. Okay. <laughs> so I get the way. Is the list finalized? Yeah. All right, I have. Right now, I have um, uh, potholes on 135th Street, downtown fixed. Riverside Park, we paid 115 for 104 Street. Need for senior housing, noise abatement. Additional programs for seniors, poop on street, street, better street lighting, homeless in homelessness in the area contributing to filth in on, sanitary yeah, sanitary, yeah, sanitary, sanitary, yeah, and sanitary conditions. Funding for additional medical slash mental health services, funding for vouchers for fresh food, tech for our uh, Wi-Fi for not only the projects but for the whole neighborhood in general. And she said something about the health book. So, hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, am, I on, am I on the right track with yes, this? Yes, you are. Yes. Oh. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I was a member of the I am so happy. You okay. definitely did that no, work. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. We have an in Emmys. That's it. What can they do with it? Is that slide? Yeah, well, don't do something. Do something about those, what, those um, what's the name? Bugs. No, those bugs. We don't have to stop feeding them. That's the first thing, right? So there needs to be some sort of enforcement about feeding the pigeons because that's why they keep coming because they're being fed. Sure, and they're scavengers by nature. They're supposed to hunt their own food. Well, listen, our little circular um, domain of. Wait, I have to be recognized. <laughs> Patricia? Yes. Go ahead. I have to be recognized. Okay. My the only I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to state, uh, uh, in agreement with the last speaker, uh, uh, the issues of food disparity, especially with seniors, and especially in the winter months. That in putting in this request for additional funding, I uh, I, I I ask that it be specified that it be a stipend that it is relegated monthly to the seniors uh, uh, in order that this, this, this need be met. 
because I, it is it is it is a pressing need. There's great food disparity with the seniors and them, not just uh, uh, vegetables or things like that. The, the cost, the uh, uh, the cost, the raise of of of, of food, the cost increase in pricing, and, and people on fixed incomes, they're having a very difficult time eating. Okay, I do have that down as an item. Um, we, we're going to flesh it out when we have the, the, the general meeting on the 17th. Um, it, it'd be Great. nice to come and, um, and, and put your I'll proposal. try to be there, Walter. Okay. Yeah, back to me. I'll right. try to be there. Yeah. <laughs> In person? Yes. No, no, never mind. I'm not saying the lining is this life. I'm trying to describe what's occurring in my dwelling. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to describe what's occurring. There's a hawk on top of our complex that are feeding on these figures. And every morning, you see the figures scattering because they're trying to dodge the hawk. So there is an influx of them. And so when you at your window in the morning, you see everybody through the river and almost like feather might be possible. So you know, even if you do animal advocacy or whatever, something needs to be addressed that this is occurring. Now, how can we put that in a certain way it would be that fund something to make that happen. Well, there are agencies already that do this. I was going to say, there's existing agencies and resources for it. It's a matter of right. tapping into right. them. And this is basically, um, how would you say? Uh, it's actually a health. No. It's a health it's issue. issue. And, and it's, it's yeah. yeah. And it's also, uh, for lack of a better word, it's like, it's some sort of enforcement, animal enforcement. And they need, I don't know if they're going to hunt the wolf down, because no, are they I endangered think, species? I think they just need to be aware that this is actually happening in this in this area, right? You know, and well, with it happening, right you don't, you don't, you want it to stop, correct? I don't, I, well, they get dissipated or, or, or traveling yeah. elsewhere, or be concerned that, you know, this is. So we need to find out through our existing, maybe the health department, we could ask them, is there an entity within the health department that they could direct us to the appropriate agency that we could describe what's going on? Because yeah. are they actually, is it actually killing them? Yes, or is it, yes. They are. Yeah. What's killing them? The Because the, the, the that's what they're supposed to do. That's how they feel. Well, we don't have to be their audience. Should <laughs> <laughs> so I be more percent? No. <laughs> So the reason why the pigeons are there because they're being fed. The hawk is there because the pigeons are there. So the source is to stop feeding. So that they pigeons people. So that's what we have. Like the dog advocates. But do you want to know? You can't be prejudiced. You also know that people take care of the hawks also. Yes. You know, there there was there was two hawks on Central Park West that they were they were that nested in somebody's yeah, yeah, yeah. ear. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, so people take care of them too. So, I mean, this I mean, is. Well, it's still, well, maybe this is just an awareness. Okay. 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 Maybe yeah. this is a thought of awareness. Yeah, can I put that in the form of request? I would, what would I, what would I, what would I, what would I, I don't think that's a request. I, don't I, don't say. It. I think it's just awareness. Yeah. And it, uh, as I said, we need to contact the Department of Health yeah. to see what it is or what resources they could provide us with. It it's already way? existing. Yeah. It's just a matter of us letting them know yeah. that this is happening yeah. here, but we know where it's coming from. Yeah. People are feeding up the pigeons, like and the pigeons, I'd like to see that. The pigeons are there and, and drawing the hawks there. So it's like you said, they feed off of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, if we have to start at the source, and that's the people feeding them. Stop it. Yeah. Stop yeah. feeding the pigeons? Yes. Pigeons are a book. That's true. They are natural yeah. born scavengers, like, like yes, the yes, yes, yes. and the yeah. vultures and the hawks. Normally, it might sound strange with the Riverside Church and a basketball team named the Riverside yes. Hawks. Yeah. Yes. Their yes. tower, their tower is the nurturing spot for, for, for the hawks. Most of them are origin 
came out, the tower was a Riverside Church mm -hmm. up in the Bell Tower. Yes. And they they have they all have families grown out of that that nurturing spot, and it's never been touched. So anything that happens around here is normally natural. They normally chase rats or rodents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or rat and and um, right now we as as Miss Prince says we have the fluctuation of human beings like in to throw bread with at them so they can feel in control of the birds because they flock to them mm -hmm. and it's almost a, a communication you go like that birds that normally fly from you come to you mm -hmm. and will eat with you and sit by you mm -hmm. land on your shoulders somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, most of yeah, 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 most yeah, somewhere. most yeah. most I haven't seen I see that happen. there's a guy down the block right now he, he normally feed the pigeons right out there by the construction site and it'd be like about 40 or 50 of them. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, a, it's a control yeah. thing. It's a hobby that they have. It is. Yes. And it's messing with their natural way of life. Yeah. Because, yeah. as we said, they're scavengers. They can hunt for their own food. Yeah. Go to Land City. I don't know about all this. But anyway, this is so, Lydia, do you feed the pigeons? Yes. You do? Look, the fact is, we don't. It's an action that needs to be taken upon. I don't think it's an issue. I think it needs action due to our acronym of what we are now and <laughs> always been. We just change the acronym to the correct acronym. We need, we're taking action on this. Uh, matter here because it does impact the city. People can't walk down the streets because you got 15 birds and stuff. Anybody that's from our anybody anybody that's from our age group. I can't walk down the street because there's people in the street. Anybody, you know, I, I just want to close out. Anybody from our age group, we've seen the movie The Birds, and, yeah. and, and that's a natural, I I think that's a natural response to it. I know a man to Let's get back to uh, let's get back to what's what we had one more tap here. So uh that's not an issue that we're gonna put in for the budget. Okay, so that's um <laughs> that's a health department issue. I'm gonna put it into the minutes. But as we would somebody would somebody it. like to um to take the part because we have committee members, but somebody like to take it on. Would either one of you like to call the health department? We all call the health department. No, I just want to so they can report back. No, I didn't send anything. So I'll take it. I mean, okay, good. Who has right. the number? I, yeah. I don't mind. Uh, I'll do that. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So I'm going to put you down for all. Our representative is Kenneth Johnson. I'll forward you his contact information. You can give him a call and he'll put you in touch with the entity within your agency that will handle it. Right. Now, or from us. My community here, I need to know the location. So when he says they're located, all right, I can't just well, say 33, 33 30 courtyard, is it? Yeah, our, well, yes, our courtyard. Yeah. Yeah. So she's identified 3333. Also, I would say the Broadway malls. Yes. Okay, yes. 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 Broadway, yes. Broadway, yes. Up. Broadway yes. up. Yeah. Yeah. I just so good you know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you know, yeah. this, this, the facade of this building. I know. That first came to you when the scaffold up. Oh. Yes, the scaffold was worse. Now it's a little better, but not much. But when we pulled the have the gate pulled up or pulled down, dead pigeons come out because they get stuck in the gate. We put up spikes to deter them, mm -hmm. but they found a way. Yes. Follow me the Well, we don't have a TA, that would have been a TA problem, but you can follow me the number. Okay. Okay. All right. He doesn't have a TA. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Haggis, how are you? We've been quiet on this. Yeah, the library. What's going yes. on with the library? Um, so I brought uh, the yeah. calendar. Um, you want me to run through? Uh, is this something that I can put in with the minutes? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's Oh, okay, but you can read it off and then I'll attach it to the minutes. Okay. Oh, you got a copy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to take time away. Like, do you want me to? No. Do you want uh, me to let's give a general rundown. Okay. Run okay. Did you come every month, and I appreciate it. Sure. Well, I, I guess that's important to highlight. Okay. Um, Can we, um, 
Actually, uh, one thing that I did want to mention is um, one of my colleagues at the Harry Belafonte Library reached out to Aisha um, to, to work on a program that would help um, make the residents sort of learn more about the research process, like what they need to, to go through. Um, a lot of them research for? Um, for like, for the public housing. Uh, and, oh. like, so um, I guess annually they have to research. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I believe, yeah, because it's it's Daisha. Um, okay. So um, so they're going to be. Uh, let me get the dates uh, quickly. Um, there's so going to be. Where is that the library located? So um, it's not two different. Uh, one more. Not two different things. Right? Yes. Um, yeah. So oh, Harry Miller. Harry Belafonte is on 115th Street between Adam Clay Powell and Frederick Douglass. Okay. Um, so they're going to do a talk. Knights will do a talk on Monday, October 30th at at 12 p.m. By right, like Zoom or um, that one's going to be in person. Um, then there's going to be a virtual session. Um, I don't think there's a link yet on the website, um, the NYPL website, because we're still finalizing details. But at least. You know, uh, people can keep an eye out for it. There'll be a virtual session over Zoom or Google Meet on Thursday, November 2nd at 5 30. And then George Bruce is going to host an in person program on Wednesday, November 8th at 3 o'clock. Um, again, it's not on our website yet because we're still finalizing everything, but the, that is pretty firm. Um, so I, you can expect to see more information on the website soon. Um, there's also going to be, I believe, representatives from um, ACP, which is like the Affordable Connectivity Program. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's like, what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I wanted to mention it probably because people can get a discount um, to the point where internet can even be free, potentially, depending on. Um, uh, it's not really an agency, it's a program called ACP. Oh, no, or the New York City has um, an affordable, camp, affordable connectivity. connectivity program, right? Well, the, the first two things you mentioned, what were the programs that you mentioned to? Um, so, uh, well, the three dates that I mentioned are all going to be NYCHA coming to work with the library to do programs on, on how NYCHA residents, um, like the steps they, they can take, how they can recertify, which is, I guess, I prove that they're still eligible for public. Housing, um, and that can be kind of a difficult process. So they're going to help, you know, show people how they can do it. Um, but then they're also going to have um, uh, representatives talk about ACP, the Affordable Connectivity Program, which um, is is a way that people who receive, I think, any sort of um, public benefit can get thirty dollars off their internet bill, uh, and often it becomes free. Yeah, um, a lot of them are offering it. Yeah, yeah, that's not yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so that's coming up sort of at the end of the month, um, kind of really different, but we're, we're having a, a community art showcase. So, um, this, uh, starting next week, um, uh, we're going to have, um, from October 10th to November 25th, um, a New York artist, Alison Cuomo. She's mm -hmm. going to be, um, ha having a question of, um, monotypes on paper, um, displayed on our, our first floor, the adult floor. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's sort of just dropped and you can you can stop by the library if you'd like to see some um some great artwork um the library is having an open house on on tuesday the 24th so it's basically a chance to highlight programs that we run throughout the year that's one of the and it, it is on there so you know all the programs for all ages um we're going to have some food um some giveaways and things so the 24th would be a great day to stop by the library if you just want to find out what sort of services we offer um what time? Um, so basically, it's, it's going to be when we're open. So from, from 12 until 7 that day. Um, I, I would kind of check the website as we get a little bit closer because you know, we'll have a few programs that are more formal. Like um, I know we're going to do a, for adults a, a few, uh, DIY printmaking. So like if you want to learn to make your own print, um, uh, like an art workshop, basically, that's going to be at 2 o'clock. So for like specific activities, there may be specific times. So check check the website. But um, things like the snacks, I think, should be available throughout the day. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much time. So feel free to check the library's website. If you go to nypl.org/events, um, you can find out uh, not only George Bruce's events, but but all the the Bronx Manhattan events. So. Okay. Which branch are you from? Sure, George Bruce. Yeah, so, I yeah. wanted to ask, are they open for meetings? Um, I I think um, 
I know some work was being yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, some of the work is done, DDC is still using the basement occasionally. So it's kind of when possible, we're, we're making it open to people. Um, the best way is if, if you can reach out to our manager, Janelle Carter Bowman. Um, if, if you want, I can give you her, her contact. No, no, I have a question. <coughs> I just wanted to make yeah, sure yeah. that it was the George Bruce. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. I'm on a first name easy. basis with Janelle. Okay. I was just asking because the senior issues along with the district service cabinet meeting you used to be there in, in the basement. Yeah, I mean, that was so from time right. to time, I wanted to know if it was available to us. Yeah, so I would reach out to I know we have been making it available um, when we can. I, I don't know whether it's at the point where it can be like a regular monthly meeting, but, mm -hmm. but reach out to her because I, I will. Um, you know, I would myself be asking her, but there be no hard time. But um, I know she likes those community events, but every can, so it's worth reaching out. Okay. Thank you. All right. So and I, I, was, not cutting you off. I also wanted to commend the library because every year religiously they submit their budget request on what they would like the community board to advocate for them for. So I like to commend NYPL. They, oh, thanks. they always oh, submit their budget request. It's <laughs> on time. <laughs> These were the three things that they, that they funded for last year. Well, those are the pressing issues that the board over okay, the years. When they put the, the, the yes. Okay. So our pressing issues is affordable housing, health care, and, and schools. schools. And schools. And we're left out. Senior action. Well, senior in those in those categories yes. like housing and okay. health, we can we incorporate can seniors. Got you. Got you. And okay. schools, you can. Incorporate locations available for senior. <laughs> no, those are things that we could. Would we'd like the senior action committee to be considered primarily when it we comes to funding. That? What did she say? We would, I sure would like to see the community. I would like to see our community board when it comes to funding to to see the senior action committee. Uh, uh, um, you know, as a, a to prioritize us, as a, to to recognize and acknowledge, and to fund us in the, in our efforts. Not that I am I'm not speaking against any other committee, but I just would like us to be a a a, a, a consideration that would be in the forefront of senior issues. Oh, okay. What we do as the senior. Action Committee, formerly the Senior Issues Committee. We are a committee yes. within the city or a city agency. So we're funded through the city. What we do is advocate for services for the district. Yes. So what we're doing here today is sitting down and discussing budget requests that we could submit to better the community. So we're funded through the city right. as a city agency. And the Senior okay. Action Committee is a committee within the community board. We don't have a separate okay. funding. So therefore, oh, okay. We so there is a separate funding for the. There is a. I guess my question is: Is there a separate uh uh? Uh, itemize a, a certain amount of funding that would be directed towards the senior action committee. No, that's something that we could possibly speak to our elected officials and ask them if they could give a discretionary like that. earmark specifically for different, um, like for refreshments for the senior issues committee meetings. Uh, we do a resource fair where we advocate and we ask the community to donate to that resource fair. That's something that we're having every year. So those are venues in which we can advocate specifically for the committee so that they can give back to the seniors that live and work and have interests within District 9. No, well, that sounds that sounds wonderful. And now, last year, that 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 resource meeting, as you as you saw, it was very successful. So I would like to to submit that monthly that we could in our senior resource uh, uh, uh senior action committee that we also avail 
some uh, uh, vouchers or food fund or uh, address the food disparity. If it can be worded in such a way that it, that the seniors do get the resource, that would be appreciated. I, I'm sure you guys are really good with this kind of thing. I'm just a, a you know, a novice at it all, but I'm sure you can word it in such a way that we can get more resources to these seniors through the com through the Senior Action Committee itself. And I think that would come directly from the Department of the Aging now. That's the that's the. No, I'm not, that's not that's not who I address, Walter. I am addressing the community board on this issue. I know what the Department of Aging does. I'm just trying to 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 try to get as much as many resources as possible. And if this can be used as a resource, I think that we should take take the opportunity to to see if we can get something from this too. We can ask the Department for the Aging to supply or give us resources that we can share with the seniors at the resource fair. We can also have a representative at the resource fair. We can ask our elected okay. officials to also partake in giving um, resources. We could ask the, um, the food pantries and we could also ask the um, farmers markets for vouchers okay. for, for the seniors that we could give out at the resource fair. Okay. Got it. But that's a one. That's a that's an annual fair, uh, fair, and I understand that. Uh, I I was just trying to, get to you know. Yeah. Okay, but beggars. I guess beggars can't be choosers. But I was hoping that we could get a monthly stipend of some sort. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Let's say. Um, against hunger, mm -hmm. it has now moved to a location. Okay. And it's available. For? Every month. Oh, okay. It's like a pantry now. Yes. Uh -huh. At that particular pantry, you go shopping like you're in a supermarket. Really? Oh, yeah. And you and get what you want, want or then? Please, please. 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 Yeah. 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 
And you can do it without your time. And her name is, yes. I'll, I'll get the information. Yes. 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 Because then I have a line, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. But it's opening up this month. Okay. But I will share my letter with you. Okay. 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 I want to address the fact that. Since we used to meet at George Bruce, we had we had a sizable amount of seniors that would come to the meeting. We had a sizable amount that came to the senior resource fair. We are lacking, that's why I went with the addresses from that, because I, we, we really need to engage seniors, and I really want to hear what the community is talking about. And this would have been a lot more concise if we had someone from the community, people from the community, Saying this is this is going on, that's going on because this is why we're here. Um, I like to propose uh, <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, hello, and you are. That's Mrs. Davis. Okay. That's Colton's wife. Oh, I didn't recognize you. My bad. My love idea. Oh. <laughs> and we were just speaking about the senior resources. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to get the boys from whose bag it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to propose that the committee come up with some suggestions how we can reach out to the community because well, we really need to have folks know where we are, what we're doing, and, and one of them is that we have is it four, it's four senior centers in our Kingston yes. area. What we did before was we visited, you know, I'd like to see if we, as a committee, and whoever can make, so let's go back to to centers and let them know, you know, because we, this is where the action comes in. The action comes in, what what do we, they, they need to know? We had a guy came in before earlier from off the street. He was having problems with his apartment. And uh, I gave, I had him give me his address and contact because I tend to tell him about the legal services here. So he knows that, and the community needs to know that this is available, okay? Because people have housing issues, people have health issues, they have transportation issues, they have food, um, what's the name, um, insecurity issues. But we, if we're not hearing that from the community, then we're not really being active. What's Can so I present question? something? Yes. I present a challenge. Amen. And everyone sitting here remotely and in person be given the challenge at the next meeting, they bring a senior with them to the next meeting. That's great. I, I, like that. That I like that. I like that. I like that. Or two or three. So we'll yeah. take one. And at this point, each person here, online and in person, has the challenge at the next meeting to bring a senior That's with them. Right. That's great. That's great. And once we get those seniors here, we'll give them the challenge the next meeting that they bring someone. Okay. And then that. Okay, so I, I got a question. Mm -hmm. But my group will come. They don't have problems. Well, yes. They, they let them come. Yeah. As we walk the nose. So we have to get the word out and let them know yes. that we're yes. here. Yes. So we yes. Have to for them. yes. Yes. Can we do like some kind of, some of the groups have been in, do like a short newsletter that we put in like the senior places? And then cities pick it up and they have a number to call. I mean, I know some of the other groups that work with, we create like a one page of what we know, and then people see it and they like it and they ask you it. I don't know. Well, I, we I just, started that, you, you, and just gonna, we started that in May when we did the senior resource. We had Con Edison, we had um, Verizon, we had the fire department, we had the police. Yeah, department. like a newsletter form that yeah. goes to the center so that people see it and they know what's out there. Quarterly CB9 the does a newsletter. Me, pardon me? Quarterly CB9 CB publishes okay, okay, a okay. newsletter. I got you. With yes, the, with yes. The information on it. We can include each um, publication has a highlight, a committee highlight. So we can highlight the senior issues committee in the next publication and it can list the senior centers. And does that go out to the senior centers? It goes out to everyone. To everyone, including the senior centers. We have a list, a deep glass list. 
that um, includes every entity within the district and even outside of the district, including our elected schools, okay. churches, everything. Okay, I and we send it out. So we do is. have. We do have a newsletter, and it's not a one pager. No, 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 I know that's more. I just yeah. meant like a monthly one pager. Mm -hmm. Well, if the it. committee itself yeah. wants to, I, that's just a thought. Yeah. In the past, well, when we did have a, a meeting notice, mm -hmm. we would have okay. Okay. In the past, so we could add that. Is that mailed out, or that that's, that's the that's agenda? Uh, no, the, uh, the quarterly. Um, no, uh, it's shot on yeah. online. It's emailed and it's also available at all the meetings. You can take copies. Okay. We have copies available in the office. Okay. So it hasn't been snail mail, but the next publication can be snail mail. Because I, I updated the addresses from the last you know, from the resource okay. thing. So uh, I could people said they said they got the minutes. And I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I didn't know that the Zoom address changes from meeting to meeting. So I've been putting out the wrong. Well, no, you haven't because we, in the past, repeated the seniors meeting and that's something I'll speak to the office about. Okay. Not because seniors, we don't want to challenge them, give them too many challenges. Yeah. Yeah. They can have the same Zoom information. And from oh, month to month. And oh, yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So okay. we can indicate that it's a reoccurring meeting. Okay. So the same credentials that you give Very one every month. So Will be repeated. I'll, I'll speak to but my. But that's partner. an issue for the, the sale mail. Well, I don't know if we do any communication. That's much appreciated. Yeah, because the seniors, some of them are just not technologically or technically that sophisticated, um, and that may be why you're not reaching <laughs> a lot of them. I mean, my generation sort of in the middle. I'm the boomer. I mean, half my life I spent on computers. But the older generation, you know, it's. I know, I think they're probably more. The committee may have to take to the phone also. Yeah, the phone. To call them and let them know, hey, we're meeting again. We no, and no, we're meeting right. in person. Okay. We'd love to see you at the next meeting. Okay. And it's at the new district office of okay. community board nine, you know. Yeah, what is that? I got two hands. Um go. Okay, y'all want to say y'all want to know more about the seniors? On their right before their lunch, y'all need to go in and see with them because they can tell you more what they need and what's what about the community because they out all the time. Yes. So even if you do letters and with the letters too, you need to make sure, like Mr. Davis, he's by Jenny Grant House, make sure he get a pack and let him hand deliver because some people do well as reading, mm -hmm. not yeah. always. Just yeah, um, on the so, yeah. Mr. Davis, you and over there by the Take this right yeah. here. Give it to the rent and make sure they get the yeah. word out. And the next yeah. meeting, they'll be right here. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So, that's my point. When you, when you come, I, I do better. Me and you talking right here, mm -hmm. you get my full attention. Because I know you care about me. Mm -hmm. And I'm constantly, oh, no. Come by right. me and talk to me. And I can tell you what I want, mm -hmm. what I want, and what we don't have, so we can all work together. This is why I want to visit the centers again. That's I, that was that was great. That was a great yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and maybe we can start doing field. Our committee can start doing field trips. Yes. And actually go out as surveyors to the problems that we are having and take action on it. Okay. So let me just go out and pictures. have a meet. I don't care. We well, we're not into media, like you know. But normally when we we do things, we we have we go live. So the media, social media has sees what C9 is moving about why they out advocating on boots on the ground. Because that's why I'm, I be like quiet until it's time to talk boots on the ground. You got my full attention. Like I said, we, we did 1,940 apartments every three months, all four quarters, seven years. And we derived that, and I, I'll give props to you. We did derive that from State Assemblyman Daniel Dunn. That's how he was elected. Yeah. He went with uh, Sarah Mark and Marilla Dunn. Wow, I remember Sarah. And they went all 1,940 doors. So well, we, sticking to the issue, if I may be addressed. Sticking, addressing the issue that might help this is, is for each senior uh, um, center or whomever that might have the uh, 
space for us to once a month meet in that area and address the issues or to even consider the, the find out what are the issues of the seniors in each center for all of those who would avail themselves to us uh, for a, 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 our meeting or a few minutes or a few, you know, maybe 30 minutes uh, a month. Well, we 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 would. Uh, I'm asking our our chairperson, uh, Walter, if he would be receptive to us doing that once a month. We need to be proactive, not not in comparison to what we did before. It's not. It's like Janet Jackson would say, "I know what you did for me before, but what are you doing for me lately?" So uh, let's I, find. Let's be proactive in how we're going to do it. That's, I, I stated that. I thought I stated that as far as. Boots on the ground. I'm that, coming to you, Miss Gray. That we'll be out there on a regular, like we we have done. As a, I, as I I didn't say you didn't say that, brother. My brother, I didn't say you didn't say that. I'm just I'm just throwing in my my two cents. Yes, I'm saying that okay. I agree with you. That, that yeah, you're we, okay, you. okay, you good, good. good. We're on the same page. This this would be a, a, a standard thing because. We've done it before right. for seven years. Mm -hmm. I've been on the community yeah. board for two years. I think I outdo, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying now and what I've done seven years in the past with my teams that we could go out and actually do this again in comparison and just and maybe know, even make it even better than it was done before. We 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 yeah. want to we want to improve every step of the way. So you know, I I understand that as a method that works, but now we're trying to, to figure out what we can do now. All right, Pat, um, I got two more questions here. Uh, or response. This is David. Okay. How you doing to so your question comment how we can make things better? Every month like you just said, they have a meeting. We need to find out the time and the day of the meeting to make us up available to present what y'all have going on here. So you know since they have a meeting on the 21st, make sure your team is there on the 21st. The 22nd, you have different centers around here. Make sure we're there. We can't speak about it. We got to go out there and do it. So that grant have their meeting maybe the 21st. So this team, let's come on and present what we have. Make sure you have your flies and your brochures saying, no, what? Y'all are presenting to them and what y'all want to do for them. And if they need to come out, because some seniors will come out and give you their time because they like to know. So when next month comes, you got three sisters around here. Let's get the date, let's get the time, and let's make sure we're there with our pamphlets, with our books, and even a couple of goodies and some giveaways. And you have their full attention. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Miss Green, I'm sorry, guys. You have, you have your hand up. It's okay. I just um, have a couple of things. The, the October 17th is what? That's a, yeah. It's a fair. Okay. Um, coming out to visit the centers. I thought that was a great, great idea. I loved when you guys came to the center. And if you could um let me know, like if we could be put like on the calendar so that I can, you know, gather all my seniors to come and sit and talk and um, you know, engage with you guys, that would be helpful. Um mm -hmm. Bring us a, a senior with you to the meetings. I think that's good. But what's your address, your new address to the new spot? And can I bring them there? Yes, you yes, can. Okay, yes. so I need the address for that. Um, 3295 Broadway. 3295, I see it, okay. The corner right. of 133rd Street. Okay, and one last thing. Okay, um... You asked me about a senior need. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a shooting out around their grant houses. And um, I got an alert, you know, that, you know, the sh you know, that this was going on out in the streets. I wanted to know, is there a way that the seniors are getting this alert, like in real time, so that they could, you know, stay inside? Not go to that area because you know we we um, witnessed what I think it was a couple of weeks ago where the senior got killed. They were shooting out, and the senior got seventy four year old got killed. So I just want to make sure that the seniors can get some kind of like even if it's on their phone, like a quick alert or boom, you know, stay out of the right. area because this is going on. I just think that that's important. There's an app that is called the Citizen App. Yeah, Citizen App. 
Yes. They may need help Put registering it on, it on their phone, yeah. but the Citizen app will give all alerts yeah. okay. about everything happening in and around uh, the senior the area. community. The area. And that's something we can serve yes. if we go to the meeting. Yes. Just let your phone on phone. Yes. 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 Thank you. It is process twelve thirty five. Are there any other old business that we'd like to discuss? Just tell everybody what I'm doing. And congratulations. Yes. 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 Uh, any new business? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Yes. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. Second. Patricia Colburn. Miss Green, can you can you give us an alert? You have my email address. Can yes, I do. When it's yeah. good for us to come visit you rather than us just stopping in. So we can come when okay, my senior's gonna be here and we can whoever wants to come. Yes. Absolutely, I got you. Oh, we can also host a and meeting. And Miss Green. Miss Green, we can also host a meeting there too. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. All right. That's we have the case, yes. That'd be great. Thank you. That's action, right? Do you need my address or information, Miss Green? I think you have my phone number. Yes, I do. We can speak afterwards, but yes, I do. That's a All great. Right. I would love that. All right. Thank you. Great. So, is the meeting adjourned? Yes. Yes. Miss yes. yes. Green, can you share your email address, please? In the chat. I'm dropping in the chat. Oh, all right. Miss Green, there's a bus up here. For the thing, for the trip tomorrow? I don't think y'all are letting it. There's a trip tomorrow? Yes. Yes, for the landing thing. Oh. Yeah, this is what's supposed to be. Miss Green, though? What's the bus? I'm sorry. That could be a team. He said this to me. It's green. You were yeah. asking if I knew what? Did you, do you know there'd be a bus up here that, that's going to take uh, certain people on trips? So you're, you're tomorrow? No. Ms. Green, Ms. Green, I even know where you're at. Let's talk about that uh, at another time, but we do. Uh, the buses that can be chartered, but we need funding from the community board. Is this meeting adjourned, Brother Alexander? Six. I, I, that's, that's, that's great, too. But I just got to give you a dressing. Oh, you don't have to. We'll finish. I got to give you a Miss Green, can you yeah. read your email in the chat? Yes, it's in there. Okay, thank you. You asked that trip tomorrow? <laughs> yes, okay, the trip tomorrow, what's that about? Uh, uh, your group, did you have a you what you part of um the housing um grand houses right? Yeah, we're in the grand houses. Uh, yes. Maybe some of our members are going. Yeah, some I think some of your members are here because they broke it up to two days. It's a trip to our dear Uh, no, they, they're different people like um. Yes, the great ones. Yes. Okay. So, so, going where? He probably has been in contact with the senior. Yeah. 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 They don't know where the bus is leaving because I, just, I was so with them. That's why she ain't fixing this. They don't really know where the bus is leaving. See, I'm not familiar with I just was dealing with my group of folks. Exactly. So you better. I don't have the details. So I'm going to tell them. They email me. It's coming out. Mr. Davis. Yes, ma'am. You have the name. The right? trip tomorrow. What is that? The trip to uh to Aladdin. Oh, to Aladdin. Free yeah, the music theater. Yeah. What? What time? Yeah. Um, it's seven p.m. From what I was told. Okay. And so you need to get around to the well, I think Mr. Hamer knows, right? Yeah. He just, okay. Mr. Hamer, I came back in the meeting. I'm back in the meeting, uh, Miss Green. Can yeah. you hear me? 
Yes, I can. I'll need to uh, touch base with you um, because the trip for tomorrow is pretty much booked out. Gotcha. But I will need to talk with you to loop you into the coalition, yes. right, which is not part of CB9. But the coalition is a separate entity you know, initiated and sponsored by WHCC that we're working on a variety of trips and excursions for community board nine residents. I was so hoping for you to even touch on that. Um, are, 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 can, are they going to address transportation for trips outside of New York? Uh, that's not something we're, we're considering right now. Okay. Uh, but I need to talk with you so that you can get looped into the coalition. So going forward, when we have our meetings to plan and coordinate these activities, you are directly in the loop. I would appreciate that so much. I'm dropping my email in the chat. Okay. So can have it. Yeah. So let me uh, give me uh, let me have your phone number because I, I I'm I want to go ahead. Give me your phone number so we can talk. It's um, two one two. Okay. Six six six. Four nine one zero. Four nine one zero. I got it. Extension fifteen. What's that? Extension fifteen. Extension fifteen. Okay. All right, I got that. So I will be in touch with you. Um, it's probably not today, sometime tomorrow. Your yeah. name, sir? Uh, William Hamer. I'm, I'm the executive director of Harlem Advocates for Seniors. Okay. I have to listen to people that vary. Okay. Yeah, Great. so we need to get I'll you. Waiting for call. All right, yeah, because I, yeah, I know you knew you just took on uh, yes. that spot. So I want to give you, bring you up to speed on some of the things that are going on in CB9 that are outside of the actual community board itself. Okay. Right. Although it's all connected. Okay. Wow. All right. So, Sounds um, good. I'll absolutely. be waiting for your call. And I look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. 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 Uh, if you're getting on the bus, then that would be you or, or one of the group leaders uh, getting on that bus. So the bus that's going to be in front of CB9 is your group and, and Pat's group, right? Well, From a, lot of them are going, a lot of them are going on their own. That's um, okay. I mean, the bus will be there, but we have to, we'll, we'll have to revisit this because if people are going to go on their own, which is fine, as long as they get to the theater, that's the most important thing. So we want to make sure that the seats and the paid tickets are utilized. But if we don't need the bus, or if the bus is going to be there and only five people are on the bus, then that's a way of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. so, so we, now the person at the theater is, uh, uh, that, you said they're going to be calling the names? Or I've got it. No, no, Walter, I'm, I'm going to be at the theater at the box office. I'm going to be just counting numbers going in. I will pick up the tickets. People, people come. We'll just check off names. There will be open seating because we have an entire block of seats available to us. We'll do the same thing that we did when we went to see Mama's Foundation and the other shows that we've gone to. All right, so you're going to be there both nights? I'm going to be there both nights, right, unless I can get somebody else to cover Wednesday. But uh, that's something that we'll talk about as the coalition begins to emerge and evolve. There will need to be more people involved um, like myself because, you know, again, this is uh, nothing that we're getting paid to do, right? So... So I, I um, so tomorrow you'll have a bus there. We're hoping uh, tomorrow for the bus. Okay. Uh, so I would hope that your people show up to the theater, because um, right now, in terms of the bus there, that bus was scheduled to take um, only 15, 8, 23 people, right? Because that was your group and six twenty six. So. You know, if everybody goes on public transportation, that's going to be a totally underutilized bus, which is fine because we'll have to revisit that, you know, for our next planning. 
but um, that would be a waste of money um, to have a bus if only five or six people are taking it. So, but again, this is all part of the uh, debriefing because after each trip, we'll have to debrief to, to find out what the strengths are, what the weaknesses are, what we can do better in terms of ensuring that we get people to these activities. Okay, and all the seats are accountable for right now. All right, it's no because Pat Pat called me this morning, Pat Caldwell, and she was upset that her twenty people. That I didn't deal with her all her twenty people. She called me about a week or so ago, and she kept asking me questions. I said, "Talk to Mr. Hamer. Talk to Mr. Hamer." Yeah, Walter. Walter, let me let me just say this: that I spoke with Pat too. Unfortunately, um, in the absence of communication, you know, I had to make some decisions to move ahead. And Pat just got back into town, according to my conversation with her. She just landed yesterday morning. Um, but at that time, you know, I had to make a decision to redistribute the available tickets so that we can have maximum participation. I also spoke to Pat later on and said that maybe I can wiggle out some seats for tomorrow, but she opted out at that point. So she called me about a week or so ago. I'm saying, and she kept asking me questions, and I said, "Listen, talk to Mr. Hamer." Right, right. I, bottom line is, Walter, it is that you know we will take this up in our coalition meeting. Okay. This, this is not a conversation. I think for CB9 is more of a conversation for the coalition when we when we meet and do our when we meet and do our debrief. Right. Um, that's that's the way that we'll we'll be handled. All right, my brother. Okay, we'll talk to you later. We'll see you tonight. You're coming to your your. No, no, you're tomorrow night, right? So we'll we'll, we'll let you know how tonight goes because we got a whole group going down tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that they're early. I, I may, I may not get on the bus, but I'll get it. The bus is five. Yeah, it must be five. Can I, I want to ask the participants okay. what they want to do. Okay. Since they don't know how to review, I'm going to talk about it. All right, all right. Since they don't know how to review, I just want to make sure we can talk to them. Tell them the answer. Yeah, I just said, hey, Yes, we'll, we'll cover this. You know, we're going to I know. That. I agree. I fight for the seniors. Yeah. 
I'm going to ask you to go around the agency, go talk around the seniors. We can see the seniors. I'm going to see you one day. And I'm trying to get somebody on the way. I don't even want to see you. 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 I don't even want to see you.